Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Sincerely, it's Stephanie, the place where I share some of the things that make me happy and ignite my creativity. Today is Dollar Tree Thursday, and I did go out yesterday and I hit up three Dollar Trees while I was out at my follow-up doctor's appointment. I did go to the extra large Dollar Tree that is located in the former Rite Aid store. Um, I did not get the shop with me footage. I'm hoping in the coming weeks to get some new camera equipment because I'm going to be taking that on my vacation, which I'm going to be sharing with y'all, um, hopefully, but I definitely want to get some footage of that vacation because it is a, a bucket list vacation for my husband and I. So I will be picking up some new camera equipment and hopefully it'll make it a lot easier for me to film in the stores. But they did have a lot of the leftover Easter items that I picked up, but I was unable to find the majority of the things that I still had on my wish list. So those things will roll over into next year. If you're a Dollar Tree shopper, you know a lot of things will come back around. I was really looking for those Easter garlands, the, the beaded wood garlands, the black and white buffalo check items, and a variety of other things that I was looking for that unfortunately, I kind of missed my opportunity when I wound up sick for the two and a half, three weeks that I was sick um, and I couldn't go out. But I did pick up some last minute Easter items because tomorrow is Good Friday and this weekend is Easter Sunday and we will be having an Easter egg hunt and also I wanted to build my granddaughter's um, Easter basket. So I'm going to show you those items and I'm going to try and get those through those as quickly as possible um, because I think right now a lot of you probably aren't interested in those items unless you're doing what I did and going out at the last minute and picking some things up. I picked up a ton of Easter eggs and I fell in love with these Easter eggs, these character Easter eggs. There is a starfish. Um, these are a lot of sea creatures. We've got the shark. My granddaughter will love these because she's really into the baby shark. Um, I just thought these were super adorable. And I didn't know whether I wanted to do her Easter basket in a mermaid or sea theme. And I was really looking for something and trying to get some ideas. Um, they did have a starfish Easter basket, and I did not pick that up. It just wasn't speaking to me. So I think that that idea I will use for possibly next Easter because I did pick up these um, iridescent seashells, and I thought they were just gorgeous, and I thought they would look really cute alongside some of these um ocean themed Easter eggs, but I really did want to get some type of, um, kind of a mermaid theme going on for her. And I just didn't find that. I'll show you what I did pick up. I also picked up these adorable little animals. So we have a tiger, the giraffe, we have the cow. Isn't that cute? and a monkey and is this oh a koala bear and i think my granddaughter will like this uh the koala bear because when she's been coming over at night a lot of times we will um watch a movie right before she goes to bed and she liked the movie on netflix the outback and we've watched that a couple times Sometimes she'll fall asleep 15 minutes into the movie and sometimes she's just got her second wind and she watches the entire movie, but typically it only takes her about 10 minutes to fall asleep after that. So, um, a repeat item that I bought this year and I used last year, I just love these, are these carrot um, Easter eggs and they are flat on the bottom so they stand. The one thing I didn't get last year, I got the carrots and I got the um, 
Easter bunnies with the little ears. And I think I got pink ones, um, but I'm not quite sure. But I did use all of my Easter eggs, my plastic. Well, I really didn't pick up eggs, but I, I did use all of these last year. Now, these eggs I picked up, and I think I wish I had picked up more than one because I was seeing people um, use these gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, they've got kind of, to me, well, I wanted to say they're, they have an iridescent, but they have this kind of glass shine to them. Just really gorgeous. And let me open one. I'm sure you've seen a lot of haulers share these. Um, okay. But these have um, kind of like fish scales or mermaid scales. on the egg and I've seen some people sit these down in a dish with some fairy lights um, but again going with that um, the mermaid theme so when I pack it I'll see because these are the eggs that I got and like I said some of them are to hide and hopefully I'll keep some and save them for next year I know that this is an item that they have had out before, and I want to open this. I, I got this for my granddaughter's, um, she loves tub time. Sometimes she'll take an hour long bath at my house, and that's fine just because, you know, she's here to spend time with me and play. I don't necessarily recommend an hour long bath for a little girl every night. Um, she loves to play with um, the blush bath bombs that I have. And so we have a one of those uh, Barbie bath tubs, the ones that they had at the Dollar Tree before. But I think she'll enjoy playing with this little tub. And I don't think this is functional, but it's the little spray nozzle. It comes with the soap and the little duck. And she also has some, like, um, Dollar Tree little um, Pegasus. I don't think they're a unicorn, but they're Pegasus with the wings. And they're kind of a knockoff for the My Little Pony ones. And she plays with those in the tub as well as in her, um, she has a water table that we play with outside. So she plays with those types of toys. And I think she'll really enjoy this. And that was not Easter. Um, something on my wish list that was in the garden center, and I'll still be looking for this. Maybe they'll restock it. Um, I had shown you where I had picked up one of these, and I think these are just gorgeous, these stepping stones. I think they are really well done. They're not tacky. Um, this one says sing in your garden each morning, and it's kind of a gray color, and I thought maybe because this one I did buy damaged. Um, there were two of these and I was wondering if I could just kind of paint over it. I don't know if I'll touch it up or paint them my own colors because this one says don't stop beleafing. And you can see right here on the edges where it is damaged and the paint is damaged on the top. Um, so I did not know whether I kind of really got some white paint in here and then went over it really lightly um, with some type of apple barrel paint. And I could just try and match this up. I think I have something really close to this. But now I have three of these and there is one more. And if I find any more of these, I will probably pick them up, especially since this one is damaged, if I can find some that aren't. But these two are the ones that I found yesterday. I was super excited to find these and I picked up three of them. Um, these are the chalk um, pencils um, and you, it, that you put the sidewalk chalk in there. And let me open this one. Um, I've seen other haulers haul these and I was, I think I just kind of cut my eraser a little bit with my, yeah, it's okay. The erasers foam and this is going to be going outside. 
with the chalkboard that I'm wanting to share with y'all. I have videotaped um, the portion of it. I still have not finished it. Um, my granddaughter can write on it, but I was staining the exterior of it and was going to hang some hooks on it so that the chalk could go on there. Um, you, she could put little buckets and have the chalk in it and be able to write on it. Um, that was my intention. Okay, look at this. This opens up and here is where you load your um, sidewalk chalk. And I, it's my understanding that somewhere in this, is this the sharpener? Maybe this is the sharpener because you know, you don't get sidewalk chalk that's pointed like this. So I think that looks like the sharpener. I'll have to test it out. Someone said that there was a sharpener in this and then this is the little eraser. And like I said, it's foam, but I will take these out and put different colors in these. And I don't know whether I'm going to stick one of these in her Easter basket. That's why I got three. I thought that it would be fun to though, to have several of these here um, for the different colors of chalk. And I think it's really neat that it's pointed here at the end. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can get this back together now. Yeah, not really hard, not really hard once you figure it out, but I thought these were super cute and I was excited to pick these up yesterday. Now this is the basket that was speaking to me for my granddaughter's Easter basket. Um, I just think it has a lot of potential later on as opposed to just being a basket. And I know, like I said, um, it wasn't the um, mermaid or sea theme that I was looking for, but I really like this and I'm probably not gonna put Easter grass in it, but I'm going to put some tissue paper down in the bottom of it because from me, she'll be getting um, mostly a bunch of little toys and things from the Dollar Tree in here and not a whole lot of candies or chocolate. She mostly likes chocolate, so I will pick her up a really nice chocolate bunny rabbit to put in here, but that's probably all the candy that she will get from me. A few other Easter items I got were these little treat sacks, the little Easter bunny with the polka dots for the ears. And I didn't really look, I was in a hurry when I went in this Dollar Tree because I had arrived early and I popped in there before my doctor's visit and did some shopping. But I think there were some that I've seen other people haul that perhaps had plaid on the ears. I'm not sure. You can let me know down in the comments below, but um, like I said, this is last minute and any more shopping will be for next year, but I picked up three of these, um, so that I could put some treats in there. Um, and I've seen a wreath done out of something similar to you, these little like treat bags. And I wanted to do a wreath. Um, but again, I've run out of time. Um, I do have to apologize. The intent of my channel was to incorporate um, Dollar Tree DIYs, and I haven't done near as many DIYs as I would like on this channel. I hope to really get into doing um, more DIYs, finding a good time to do that and stick to that. I picked this up. Um, this is a um, egg holder and you can use this for dyeing your eggs or you can use this to put your deviled eggs in for display. Um, but there were a couple different colors on this one and I really wanted this one. It's, it's the uh, light purple. It's not a pink, but this is the color I wanted. I also wanted this dish right here. I don't know if this is something they had last year, but I did find this dish with the carrots and that's the version that I wanted. Like I said, the carrots for me are something that I can use year round. Now they did have some rabbits and they didn't say anything about Happy Easter. 
and I did pass on that. Maybe I should have picked it up, but um, I did like the carrots. I try and kind of stick with a little carrot theme, um, and I do, I do rabbits. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, yes, this was a last minute item. A last minute item also were these buckets right here. I have seen other people haul them and I did not realize how cute they were until I um, found them yesterday. There were four prints and I only picked up three of the prints and there's a good shine on this, but this reminds me of that um, box that I got and also that window cling. And I did look for more of that gorgeous window cling yesterday of that kind of classic bunny and they were all sold out. But this one says Cottontail Farms, open daily. Um, what does it say? Carrots, chocolate, and eggs. Very, very finely. Carrots, chocolates, and eggs. But I thought this was really cute. And the print is on both sides. <laughs> this one says Happy Easter and Egg Hunt. It's got this little gnome. It's so adorable. It's a little bunny gnome. He is cute as can be. Now these are very tiny in comparison and I did pick up, this one looks kind of crooked on one side. This side is kind of crooked. So I did pick up the, um, you know, the little truck because that's one of my themes is the little truck. And it was for me before it just became popular. But this side is straight. And I can't, let's see, Carrot Garden? And I can't read what else it says without putting on some reading glasses. But these were really cute. And like I said, they had four prints. And I only got these. And this was cute to me as well. This little rabbit. He's supposed to be a rabbit. I'm Yes, he's supposed to be a rabbit. Because I was like, mm, maybe he's a cat. But it is, he's supposed to be a rabbit. And it had the little pink handle. And as you can see, the difference in size. And there were more characters. But I didn't want those. I had no need for those. I just picked up the little rabbit. Um, and that's the one that I got. I found some of the spring fling items. I think a lot of those have been out potentially and have sold out, but I did pick up these signs and they are absolutely beautiful. I picked up this one, Fresh Flowers, and it is one of the MDF signs. And this is the blue with the glitter on the hubs and some a little bit of glitter in the floral. And I think this is really beautiful, really nicely done. This one is the truck in the hot pink version and it has the um, roses in the bed of the truck. So the flowers are a little bit different in that one. And this one is the light pink version and it says spring is here. So you can see the difference between this one. And I feel like, was there a purple one? I'm, I'm not sure if there was a purple one, if I've seen people haul a purple one, but these were the three that I found. And like I said, I found these at the large, extra large tour. And, um, a lot of their spring fling items had already been out. I didn't think I was going to find these because my daughter-in-law um, had taken a picture of these at her local store a couple weeks ago and I just didn't have the time to drive down there and pick them up and fortunately I stopped in at that same store and they had about four of these left and they are the carrot wreath forms and I really don't think that when I use these I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else with them, but, you know, time will tell. I have a whole 12 months now um, because I won't be putting these up, but these will be 
put away and stored for next year. For my granddaughter's Easter basket, I picked up the Tale of Peter Rabbit, this little soft back book. Um, Peter climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor. And I thought that would be perfect for her Easter basket. I have another book that was in a previous haul that will also be going in her Easter basket. And I think it is What's in an Egg is what the name of it was. But here we have Peter Rabbit. Oops, that's the front. And I did find a lot of Dollar Tree um, books yesterday. Not only the Dollar Tree Greenbrier brand, but other brands of books that I picked up. I'm going to break those up um, into separate videos. I'm going to kind of sprinkle them throughout just to avoid boring you with all of the books that I found. But I was really tickled um, with some of the books that I found. Look at this one. This one is by Greenbrier, and I was shocked. Sophia and the Purple Traveling Case. Sophia's Aunt Stella comes to visit the family every year with her purple traveling case. And if you open this up, I mean, this is just the inside before you get to the story and the illustrations. But look at this book. There's her purple traveling case. It is so cute. I love it. Love it. And... Also, I found this one, the Festival at Sugar Ridge. Look at those cute little cupcakes. Oh my goodness. The town of Sugar Ridge is having its annual festival. It's full of exciting games and events like the Chocolate Dunk, Taffy Pool, and Caramel Apple Dip. And I'm just going to show you a few pages. Look at those. They are so cute. And I looked through these. I looked through the books um, to see which ones that I would like and that I think will be good. Because I don't just willy-nilly pick up. Um, because some of the books in the past, some of the Greenbrier books, um, haven't been so great. Um, and they have their share of Greenbrier books that are excellent. So I'm not saying that they're all not great. I just look through them and pick up the ones that I prefer that I think are worth the $1.25. I also picked up this Lucky Needs Help. It's a story with moral values. And this is also a Greenbrier International book. And I'm wondering if this one is going to have more in the series. Um, I think this is really cute. Look at this. Um, it is so cute. Lucky looks angry. Hmm. And I think that is a, a great value to um, touch on um, and teach your children. Um, is helping others. So I just really, I think these books from Greenbrier are just really hitting it out of the park. I may have already stated that, but I was super happy to find the ones that I did. I did pick up one last minute uh, sign that I don't think I had seen at any of my stores, not really sure, but it was this little gnome. And again, uh, I, I didn't know I had picked it up. It's one of those items and then I put it back and then I picked it up again um, because I won't be putting it up this year. The last item um, in today's part of the haul is going in my granddaughter's, um, her Easter basket and I was super, super happy to find those. It was definitely on my wish list because this was kind of what 
This year's Easter basket was revolving around, and it is these little La La Loopsie Littles clothes. And I only found these at one of the stores. I found this one at one of the stores in um, Canton, Georgia. And it is the one over by the Aldi's. And they had two. They had this one, which is the pajamas. And the sleep sack. So I'm missing the hooded towel. And I'm going to purchase... Today or tomorrow, I will just go over to Walmart and I'll purchase her one of these La La Loopsie Littles to go with these. But that was the only store that I found these at. And I had seen people hauling them and I was like, yes, yes, please. So this, of all things, is probably, it just made my day yesterday. Um, I was really happy. Um, I'll be happy if I find the hooded towel, but it's no big deal. I did get these. So, what I wanted to do for her Easter basket this year, I'm going to get to do. And I have an idea, like I said, for the mermaid theme for next year. So, that is the end of this portion of the Dollar Tree haul um, today. And I will see y'all again for the rest. Well, probably not the rest. This is huge. This is going to go on. Um, so, I will see y'all for other parts of this haul and I will still be out shopping for sure. Um, I haven't been to my local store and I can't wait to see um, what they've done in updating and giving us that Dollar Tree Plus section sometime this week. So I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. Have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy your Good Friday if you have it off and enjoy your family and friends. And as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked the content. You can also hit the notification bell and you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. And as a reminder, I still have my 500 subscriber giveaway going on.